Pole position is up for grabs. This is your A dash for the prelude to the Australian title here on 7 Plus. Kendrick, quick to get on with it. And May, May incur the wrath of next door here as we go green oh. into turn number one. Big contact, big crash in the background for Dumsley. He's pulled the fence down. The panel has come down at the same time. Big impact for the Monty Farms number 17. Yeah, rode the back wheel there. And uh, that's a heavy contact, Matt, isn't it? Ooh. Saw it out the window. We saw the car come down on our screens here in the commentary box. And the 17 got some serious air. It's back on all four wheels. You can see Matt are taking the steering wheel off right now. We're looking from Will Story's camera on the back straight, looking at the TD Portable Homes turn number one. Here it is on the replay. So the yellow Monty Farms car in the background of the shot coming into one, bumps over the wheel of Hallett up into the wall. And the bottom of the chassis in first, taking down the fence panel. Now, that's what they're designed to do. They are clipped in, but they're there for that reason, so we don't have cars end up hanging off the fence. Yep. So uh, we've seen this many times. The officials will put that back up. That's not a problem. So Hallett's got... Uh, went a little bit sideways and over the back. It was Oldfield right, as yep. well. He was yeah. going at Oldfield here. And look at the impact with that fence. We have seen the panel come down here on more than one occasion down there in turn one. If I memory serves me right, it was uh, Nathan Brady years ago. Jace had a real big one down yeah. there into turn number one. There is Matty jumping out of the car. So if you're in the crowd, put your hands together because that is a wild ride for Matt Dumsney in the Monty Farms number 17. Unfortunately, it's not what you want two days out from an Australian title because there's obviously a lot of work that needs now to be done to that car. Chris is down there, and uh, we'll not uh, be able to throw to Chris in just a moment, but uh, this is the A-dash currently under red light situation. It's going to be a bit of a delay here while they fix the fence up. And there is the car being extricated from the racetrack and quite a bit of damage, as we can see. Matt Dumsney here on the infield, mate. A really rough ride. Sad to see the car in such a state, but the good thing is you're out and walking on your own two feet. I know it really stings right now so early in the week, but talk us through what happened from your perspective there. Um, I thought I was running in on my own kind of lane, and uh, I think Hallett and uh, Oldfield kind of got together, and they come up across into where I was, and everything happened so quick around here. I just feel so stupid, and I'm sorry to Luch and Melby and the whole Monty team. Um, Pretty gutted to uh, do this. I don't don't get it given on these opportunities too often, and I uh, just stood on it. It must feel pretty bad right now, but the benefit is hopefully the car can be turned around. You're okay, and we look forward to seeing you later on in the week, Friday and Saturday night here at the Motorplex. Yeah, um, uh, I think our night's probably done, but um, yeah, you know we'll be able to rebuild and hopefully come back with the speed that we had at the start of the night tonight. But um, yeah, just big thanks to Luch and everyone that gave me this opportunity. Here you go, Matt Dumsney, obviously well and truly dejected here as he's taken down the fence panel, but he's walking on his own two feet, which is a great start.